I could never become homeless. Homeless people are just taking advantage of the system. They can get a job if they want they to. They want to be homeless. They're lazy. They're criminals. They're all addicts. They're different than I am. We take care of our veterans. Not many veterans are homeless. Many myths and stereotypes about the homeless exist in our society today. And because the homeless are often referred to as the invisible population, it is easy to see why little happens to change these beliefs. Much could be gained from some simple realizations from another point of view. We have loved ones. We have feelings. We have a heart. I had a little some problems in my life. I had problems with my health, so I couldn't really work. So I feel. Believe it or not, I'm a certified nurse's aide. I am a state health license x-ray tech here in Texas. I was living with a multimillionaire. <laughs> and I contracted cancer, and he left me. And then right after he left, my dad died. So I gave up and became homeless. It's just something that kind of happens to us, and I just wish they would just stop categorizing us to be the bad people just because we're homeless. Because we're human, just like everybody else. We have a soul, we have a heart. I walk down the street, people will roll up their windows, lock their doors, because they see us at the co -ops. They look down on us. They do, they condemn us. They've never been in this situation. They've never uh, really had to go through the things that people go through out here. I'm not a thief or liar or a, I'm just, I'm me. <laughs> all, all these homeless people are family to me. I mean, I'm homeless and if I had a sandwich and there was six people out there, we'd cut that sandwich six ways, seven ways for me to, you know, I give up my last, even though I'm out here. Y'all see somebody like this, don't judge them. If you can, help them. If not, sometimes all we need is a hello. Because sometimes we say good morning, they don't even speak to us. You know, that hurts. Lawson Edward Loper, Jr. My brother was in the U.S. Army, and he was discharged as a private. He never got in trouble, never. He joined the Army, and, and you would have thought that was going to be a perfect career for him. He was diagnosed as schizophrenia and bipolar manic. He was heavy in the drugs. A lot of Vietnam people came back with drug addiction. It wasn't just him. So he skips out, and I don't see him for eight years. Eight years I'm searching for him. He was homeless. He did not have a place to stay. I mean, he did if it was up to me, but he would sleep under a bridge or wherever. Finally, I located him. My husband and I did our best to, to help him. I supplied clothing. I supplied food. I paid for his meds. I took him to doctor's appointments. I was able to give him a military funeral, and he's buried at the military cemetery in Houston with full honors. I've been the director for the past 14 years. Hospitality Center, it's a program of Catholic Charities. We serve a meal every day to the homeless, the needy, uh, elderly on fixed incomes, anybody needing a meal. We just try to do what we can to help. I've been coming for probably about 15 years. Uh, we, I bring a youth group every couple of months. We come over and just help serve. And then um, at Christmas, we do collect coats and hats and stuff like that for the for the needy. There's a lot of need for uh, services like this. I encourage anyone that's got time on their hand. Uh, this is a good place to come because you make friendship here. Everybody loves each other and uh, they respect each other. And it's a good place to come and talk. And just share your life. It opens your eyes a little bit, helps you to understand um, what other people are going through, help you to uh, more appreciate what you have. A lot of people um, think that they're 
that the homeless are appalled that it's something that they did um, to, to get to where they are. And a lot of times that's not the case, or most of the times it's not the case. Um, you know, sometimes they're just down on their luck. I tell the young ones, you never know where your life is going to lead. You know, your life is what you make it. And I mean, nobody grew up saying they wanted to be homeless and live on the street. It's just sometimes something that they have to go through. It's mental illness. It's the misconception that they're all on drugs or alcohol. It's just not true. It has shown me to appreciate everything in my life. Um, they are like my family. I see them every day. When you don't see one, you worry, you're concerned. They're like my children. I am mama here. <laughs> um, it has, I have grown here. I uh, have stopped and I ask them if they're hungry and I go buy them food. If it's cold, I'll go buy them coffee. I won't even ask them. I just go buy the coffee and bring it to them. I do that all the time. I don't want any recognition for that. That comes from my heart. I'm doing this for my brother. So, yeah, that's what I do.